Welcome back. Now let's get to the first wave table, post wave modulation to solve. The first thing to notice about massive wave tables is that they are not just a single wave, but a group of at least two of them, where you can switch from one to another through the wave table position knob. Here you can switch between both wave modulation on the left and a sawtooth on the right and have a crossfade control in between. The post wave modulated wave is like a square wave, but you have control over the symmetry of its cycle. At the settings you won't hear nothing because the post is so narrow that the wave disappeared. So, what is this wave for? Mainly this is useful to create a chorus effect. When you modulate the wave of this wave, you get a sound that is pretty much like having some saw waves to tune. So this is very useful to build an ensemble of instruments or pads. I'm gonna give you one example building a synth press sound. Okay, let's open a new sound and pick up the pulse wave modulated wave. I'm gonna bring this all to the side of the pulse wave modulation. You can hear that this effect is like a chorus. Let's automate this parameter. Okay, now let's tweak a little bit of the amp envelope. Now let's create a filter envelope. Of course, these parameters you can set to your own taste. Well, I think we're done with our synth press.